Greetings and salutations. This is Jason Silverane, and I'm taking a look at the Ultimate Showdown. Now, getting right into this, this developer was uh, Harrison Walters, published by Sole Proprietorship. Um, spelt wrong <laughs> on the Steam Store. So I'm guessing it was the case, the case of he was releasing his own game and just spelt proprietorship wrong. <clears throat> it's released in September 2015. And uh, on the store page, I mean, it says it's alpha point, you know, just one. Um, we have a little bit on the developer. Here we go. Three week project, developed developed back in May, but it wasn't released till later. Um, now this is two pounds on the on the store. It's rather cute. The menu system's pretty nice. It's like you're immortal, Tim. You cannot die. And then you've got to protect basically this old woman. Trying to ice her ass and steal her pancakes. Build an army using clicking build units. If you lose these, don't you? No, you won't. That I do like. The um, controls are actually pretty tight. The thing is, nowhere in this how to play does it tell you what the buttons are for walking around and such, uh, how to attack, how to pick up or change items, or anything like that. It just gives you the premise of the game. And the game is pretty much a tower defense from what you can see. Yeah, you can build traps. Um, I'll go more into this later. Uh, that, that's it in a nutshell. Now, I've played a single round of this. It lasted well over an hour. Don't worry, I'm not going to keep going till I die. I'm just going to just do a quick review on this right now. But I got to wave 30, then the game crashed. So I wasn't impressed. But it does have a nice little thing where you can customise your appearance. And it does have a lot of nice little sprites. And I'll give it this. For, you know, the typical stick man uh, thing. It is... All the artwork's quite nice. I do like it. Oops. Where's the... What's good here? There we go. I know musketeers are traditionally French, but screw it. I like the musketeer outfit. It actually looks kind of cool. So you go in, you start the game. As you've noticed, there's not been any music so far. There seems to be only one or two tracks in the game. Now, going in, this is sort of the pre-round that you start in. Just one moment. And if I go along, you can see very, very basic background. The enemies jump down from there. That is indestructible. Now, what I'm going to do... Let's go a couple of metal blocks here. It says they're nearly indestructible. There, all of these items will be destroyed in no time whatsoever. Especially since uh, your own allies will end up um, shooting at them because they're morons. The a uh, there we go. The units you've got quite a lot to pick from, which is very nice. And the timer is still ticking down, so I better hurry up. So what am I going to do? I'll get one of the Mm, melees aren't very good. Just to put it bluntly. Now I get you to stand here and just hold that position. Now if I look at my weapons, is there anything range weapon wise I can get which is a a bit better? Not particularly. You notice you don't really get that much cash and that is a problem for all the whole game. You're given all these options to do things but they all cost too much and you get too little. There we go, peasant archer. Um, I said peasant archer. Oops, I click, I click close instead of the purchase button. You stand there. Now there's a very way, easy way to break this game. If I just start this. And now the one song... Oh, it's a random thing per horde, because it wasn't pirates the first time. Now the slow-mo kicks in very nicely, it's pretty quick. But the game is essentially a series of horrible stereotypes, which you then murder. And with me being invincible, I, as long as I can just keep their attention, there's absolutely no danger at all. I do like the little uh, descriptions like we are out of rum and stuff like that at the end. That's all. It's quite the humour isn't too bad, apart from some of the stereotypes uh, types are borderline racist, to put it bluntly. Like having ninjas going, um, fly twice. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm assuming the chap 
who made this is actually pretty young. Um, it was originally going to be a um, small programming project for them, but they decided to, uh, you know, touch it up and uh, release it as a full game. It's like when you get a police officer wave. It's all of, all the comments are like "fuck the police." I, I apologize for the cursing in this video. I should have really mentioned ahead of time. But yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, there we go. As soon as I mentioned the police, they've now turned up as a wave. Now, as you can see, I take a little while to. Uh, get weapons and you press E to pick up a weapon that's on the ground. There's nowhere that mentions that either. Uh, which annoyed me at first. I just decided to start pressing buttons that I commonly used. There we go. At no point can I really find out which of these weapons are more effective than any other. The good guys lose. Fair enough. Um so yeah, this is basically the whole game in a nutshell. The waves get longer and stronger, and this is the main issue. Because you can never really improve, and your weapons kind of limit out with the rocket launcher, everything else is really... I mean, they're not even ordered in strength, really. Uh, the, the rocket launcher kills initial, sorry, initially kills uh, enemies in one hit, but eventually it takes two or three hits just to kill the basic mooks, and the reload speed is so slow, it's so tedious. And this is why it took so long for me to get as far as I did. Melee weapons are much better, they just don't seem to have any physical effect on the enemy. You know, there's no hit feedback at all. Now, it says there you can press tab to cycle for your weapons. That's nice, that really should have been mentioned earlier, however. Now, if you do end up picking up this game for two ninety nine, I wouldn't recommend it unless it's on sale or you're really into this kind of thing. Um, you just go up to this wall when you get a better weapon. I mean, last time I had a minigun at wave 3 and I didn't need another weapon for ages. There we go. And then you mine the uh, floor with your weapon just here and you just create a huge pit they will fall into it they won't be able to proceed past you and um, battleless yeah they won't be able to proceed past you and they'll just stand there wailing on you harmlessly since you can't be hurt at all so it just then becomes a very slow and tedious grind And there only seems to be like only one or two songs in the whole game. So again, it's like, ugh. Now in the later waves, you start having two different themes mixed in, but it's at first it cycles through all the themes once. And again, some of these cost more than others, but there's no real logic or reason why they should. You know, why does a, a pirate or a flintlock cost more than a redneck with a shotgun? Yeah, let's go for a pair of rednecks. The shotgun's actually not bad at short range. Again, like any other thing with a shotgun in, it's, it excels at short range. And it just they don't seem to have a uh, very good uh, recognition when enemies are nearby. So they'll only really start attacking. But they're still more effective than any melee class. Now, this is what the game devolves into. It's that you've usually got a rocket launcher. And this is the ultimate showdown in a nutshell. It's quirky, but it's only fun for the first 10 rounds, and after that it's just tedious, unfortunately. Let's not say the chap should give up on it. It does have a suggestions bit uh, feedback area for the developer, which you can go through. But I'm just trying to think what you could do at this point to make this game better. And there's not really much you can do. See, I can't swing in this mode. Let's just start. Uh, yeah, definitely melee tools are the way to go when mining. And I'm already hitting the Nazis. Fear my pitchfork. 
And I have you noticed the Nazis are pretty much armed the same as the police. My sw my swinging doesn't do squat, so I'll just go through. <laughs> now, the main issue as well, as these guys get more and more health as the waves go on, you get more and more of them. Um, your traps become useless because they break after the first one or two hits and they don't even kill a single ma uh, weak enemy. And your own mooks, their well, their just damage output does not match up with the requirements. They, you know, if you get a one-on-one, -on -one, they can't actually win. So it's just, yeah, the the fun elements that would kind of make this game feel like you've got some improvement going just become more no point. I mean, I saved up ages to get like the fire wand, which is really expensive, and it just doesn't seem to, it does less damage than the rocket launcher, which is cheaper. I think cheaper anyway, or same price. Now wait a second, reload. Still not reloaded. There we go. Now yeah, right click the slow mo. Doesn't really help at all. Maybe if it, other than maybe making some cool screenshots. And aiming quicker. And shooting people out of the air. Yeah, fair enough. It does have a few advantages. But nothing overly required. Now, also, after I noticed there was a hell of a lot of lag in this game. After the first few waves. Because it, it just can't handle the amount of enemies it's tossing at you, or just jumping in the same spot. There we go. Tin foil crumpled. See, that's quite nice, and the font's quite nice. But yeah, that's this in a nutshell. There's not really anything else I can say about it other than it's got one song, one premise, um, it's fun for the first ten waves, and then everything becomes a tedium because it just takes forever to kill anything. It's, it gets laggy and slow, and uh, you just get moments where you can't actually do anything. The reload speed is awful for most weapons, so, you know, you'll spend your time mostly just going, waiting for my weapon to reload, like this. Everyone jumping up and down, you're like a fool. You jump away, there we go. It's easy to rate the AI. If I had to give it a rating, I'd have to give it a 6. Um, nice premise, nice effort into the characters, nice customization. Um, good variety, however very little real difficulty or real variety. When I say real variety, I mean there's lots of skins but not much else. Um, your weapons, apart from reload speed and a non-existent way of telling if something's damaging or not, like with a rocket launcher, is obviously doing lots of damage, but for anything else, it's just like, well, is this doing more or less damage? Are the lasers doing more damage to my bullets? I don't know. Everything's dying in the same amount of shots. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll, I think it's six out of ten if I have to, if I have to rate it. I don't tend to like to rate games, but that's all I can say. It's not bad, it's, sim it's just mediocre, and ideally this should be on new grounds rather than paying £2 for it. If you're going to pick it up, get it on the sale for less than a pound. Good day all.